Hey guys, in this video I will share my two years of experience with this 2006 Lexus GS300 in terms of what I like and dislike so far and the total cost of ownership during this period. The original MSRP for this car was $43,150 but with additional options the sticker price rose to $50,279. I bought this car two years ago for $5,000 and it had 106,000 miles on it which was very low mileage for a 13 year old car at the time. The key factors on why I bought this car goes like this. First, the Lexus name was a big factor since many Lexuses and Toyotas routinely last over two to three hundred thousands of miles. I know this personally because I've driven many Toyotas for more than 20 years. Second, paying only 10% of the original car price when you have more than 50% of the car's life remaining is the ideal bargain sweet spot that I target when buying a used car. In other words, I'll be enjoying the second half of the $50,000 luxury sort of sports car for just 10% of the original price. Third, the car had numerous non-critical yet potentially expensive repairs that were needed, but those can be solved cheaply if you are a DIY hobby mechanic like me. For now, let's review all the work I had done to this car in the past two years. So in two years, I've had 25 services performed, 13 failure fixes, and 12 maintenance services. Please note that rear view mirror kept falling off, so I had to glue that back on four times. And I had two oil changes at the Lexus dealer. Since I did the most of the work, I kept the cost to the bare minimum, even as I bought good quality or OEM parts. For total repairs, I spent a total of $288. For total maintenance services, I spent $595, which brings the grand total to just $883 over two years, which equates to just $442 per year. Heck, $442 was the monthly payment on my 2013 Camry five-year loan. 
This was possible because I am willing to sweat and do my own DIY work, which enabled me to enjoy the second half of the $50,000 car at a fraction of the original cost. However, if you're not into doing your own DIY work on your car, the cost of ownership paints a totally different picture. Let's have a look at why. Now, some of these luxury features that are not critical to driving, the owner may opt out of fixing them. But this is the extreme scenario of if all failures were to be repaired at the Lexus dealership. The total cost would be $5,450. The total maintenance cost would be $1,175, which brings the grand total to a whopping $6,590. This is $5,707 more than doing the DIY fix and this is $707 more than the original cost of the car. Needless to say, doing DIY repairs on our cars really do pay off. Overall, I'm extremely satisfied with my GS300. Though nothing major, there are some annoying common failures of these Lexus cars. First, the auto folding options on the side door mirrors they seem to break eventually, the gear inside. Same for the power rear shade, eventually the internal gear just breaks. And many Lexus have the same rear view mirror failures, where auto dimming gas gets leaked out and makes the mirror look all scratched up. And these OEM mirrors are not cheap, they're over 600 bucks. Finally, the backup camera resolution is so low and it doesn't show any guidelines. I mean, you can get a, a better aftermarket camera for just under 100 bucks. With that said, the car runs and shifts super quietly and smoothly, and I would buy such a car again at the same condition and same price all day long. The major downside is if you really want to fix some of the non-critical luxury features at the dealership, it's going to really drain your wallet very quickly. However, for DIY folks, it's a no-brainer choice to buy one of these cars. But if you're not into DIY, you should probably consider more later model year to avoid many repairs because those repairs may end up costing more and it may end up costing you the same money as the, uh, the more recent model cars anyway. I tend to keep this car uh, much longer until I can find a really good deal on a GS460 or IS500 in the future. Until then, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.